Everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. Hope you're doing well. Hey, I'm going to give you an update. Um, I'm on my side garden now. I'll show you here in a second. Here's some of it. But um, uh, long story short, uh, I had to get rid of my okra plant. The okra plant was getting a major uh, aphid infestation and uh, white flies and so forth. So I had to kind of pull it out of the ground. That's where it was before. And, uh, you know, the problem is, for all the gardeners that are watching this, you know this very well, is if any of your plants are weak, the aphids and other insects will find it. And then the problem is if you leave it in there, it'll carry over to your other plants. So let me show you what I do when you get a white fly or an aphid infestation and the amount of work that goes into it now, given the fact that I waited too long to pull that eggplant plant. All right, so once uh, these aphids set in, they're pretty pesty to get rid of. So here's what I use to get rid of uh, miticides, uh, aphids, and white flies. It's called Organicide Be Safe 3-in-1 Garden Spray. So it's an insecticide, a fungicide, and miticide. You pretty much apply it a few times a week. This is concentrate. Most of the depots and lows and all that have that. Uh, but I like it because it doesn't kill the garden. Excuse me, the... Uh, bees and ladybugs, but it does work on the aphids. So here's what I do. I mix about a, a teaspoon of this up into a uh, regular sprayer. If you have uh, bigger plants, you can use one of those sprayers in your hose, but I just use one of these. And uh, I'm going to show you two examples. So here's an uh, uh, okra plant, which we have here. There's some pepper plants that don't seem to be as bothered, but the plants that were close to it uh, such as this small eggplant plant uh, are a little bit bothered so uh, let me get up close I'm hoping you can see that but you can see kind of those white uh, specks and then where the aphids really lay the eggs is under the leaves so you can see all those dots there those are all aphids or white fly eggs so unfortunately what you have to do for each of these and they're under every leaf here you can see I just sprayed all these, so this is why they look a little bit wet. There you go, focus in. Anyway, what you got to basically do is take this bottle and get underneath and spray underneath each leaf and then on the top of each leaf it just completely drench it. Uh, it's overcast today, so it's not that big of a deal, but I encourage you to do it later night or early in the morning. And you got to blast this thing twice a week. And that'll help get rid of uh, uh, these aphids and white flies. In addition, I also use this and that. I hook it up to the hose and I spray it into the soil because sometimes they lay the, the eggs in the soil. Um, so uh, this is an okra plant and you can probably see it uh, a little bit more pronounced on this okra plant. There's aphids that are under the, the leaves here as well. Um, get this big leaf uh, there's not any there but there's a few that are under here as well but the other thing that I noticed on here which is kind of cool is that one of the biggest ways to defend against aphids is ladybugs and uh, I did have a few ladybugs that were on this plant earlier on I can't seem to find them now but ladybugs do also eat aphids so the good thing about this spray that I got uh, and this uh, solution that I got, and there's a little okra bud right there, is that it doesn't kill ladybug bugs, which is kind of cool. So I can't find my two ladybug friends, but they were on there earlier. Um, so if you want to, you know, kill them organically, you can get or ladybugs too. The only problem with ladybug bugs is, as you know, they fly away, so it's hard to keep them in one place. So that's kind of what you got to do. That's how I uh, handle my aphid issue. It is a pain. It's hard work to get rid of them once you get them, but you got to knock it out twice a week under each leaf, spray it good. Uh, they do typically bother uh, pepper plants, okra plants I'm finding out, eggplants, and then also my tomato plants have had to do the same thing because I do find, there you go, take a look right under there, you see? Same thing, uh, either eggs or aphids underneath. It's just a ton of work, folks, but that's what's necessary. And one of the beautiful things of gardening, not. Anyway, if you get aphids, if you got these white things all over your plants, give this a shot twice a week. Should work pretty well. Until next time, 
Jeff, your executive gardener. Bye.